Hey guys, it's Max here from Shop Solar Kits. This is gonna be a super quick video. I'm gonna to try to keep it under three minutes here. We're gonna be discussing the differences between sealed lead acid or AGM batteries and lithium batteries. There's a lot of confusion around size, weight, how long they're gonna last, price points. So we're gonna get into all of that. By the end of this video, you should have a much more thorough understanding of the actual differences and what you get with both battery options. The first thing and the first difference we're gonna talk about here is the actual footprint of both of these batteries. So if you looked at the label, both of these batteries are supposed to be the same size. They're each 12 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. This is a sealed lead acid battery and this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So let's measure their footprints now. 20 and a half inches by nine inches by nine inches. We've got 11 and a half inches by 10 and a half by eight. So the lithium iron phosphate battery, even though these are supposed to be the same amp hours, is significantly smaller and takes up a lot less space. The next thing to chat about here are the weight of these batteries as well. I'm gonna throw the actual weight up on the screen here, but I can lift up this 200 amp hour lithium battery here and this 200 amp hour sealed lead acid battery, like I, I actually can't even lift it up. It, it's gotta be at twice, maybe three times as heavy as this unit. So this takes up a bigger footprint. It's at least twice, maybe even three times as heavy as this unit, and they're supposed to be the same amp hours. So that's the first thing to note is that the overall size and weight of a sealed lead acid battery is going to be significantly larger than a lithium battery, even though they have the same amp hours. The next thing to chat about is actually the usable capacity of both of these batteries. There's something called depth of discharge. What that means is how low, how much power you can actually use in the battery before you have to charge it back up. For a sealed lead acid battery, an AGM battery, if you discharge a sealed lead acid battery more than 50%, you risk doing permanent damage to the battery, right? So this 200 amp hour battery is actually only 100 amp hours. A lithium battery and a lithium iron phosphate battery, you can cycle them down all the way for the longest cycle life, 80, 90%, and then all the way back up. However, you actually can use 200 amp hours in this, where this 200 amp hour, at absolute most, you can only use 100 amp hours. If we're keeping a tally right now, this battery is significantly larger, significantly heavier, and actually 50% of its rated capacity, where this is smaller, lighter, and can use its full capacity. The last thing to talk about is price, and this is where there's some of the biggest confusion. So as of recording this video, a 200 amp hour AGM battery is roughly $400 and a 200 amp hour lithium battery is roughly $1,000. So this is where people start getting confused and they say 200 amp hour battery for $400 or a thousand, I'll just get two of these, get the same amp hours and still save a couple hundred bucks. This is where cost can be a little bit deceiving. If you treat this battery perfectly, you'll be lucky to get seven years out of it. It's very common for an AGM or sealed lead acid battery to last three, four, five years. A lithium battery, especially lithium iron phosphate, you can get 10, 15, 20 years, depending on how you're using it. So that's where price can get a little bit deceiving because in the time that you can be using this, you would have to replace these batteries maybe three or four times. So the upfront cost can be a little shocking sometimes where people decide to go with an AGM battery. However, in the long run, and if you look at the lifespan of these batteries, a lithium battery is by far the cheaper option. This is a very high level video and we have a much more in-depth discussion, even a full course on batteries in the Solar Hub. And I'll link that below if you wanna check that out. But there are definitely situations where an AGM battery is gonna make sense. If price point is your main concern, then AGM batteries are a perfectly fine option. We've been using AGM batteries and sealed lead acid batteries for years. So it's not like they're not going to work. It's just a shorter term solution. And some people based on their budget, they just need a system to get up and running. This is a perfectly viable option. Another area where AGMs and sealed lead acid batteries do better than lithiums is in colder climates. So if you know you're gonna be in colder climates and where you're keeping your batteries isn't insulated or it's not warmed up, an AGM or a sealed lead acid battery is gonna be a better option for you than a lithium battery. So that wraps up a high level discussion between AGMs or sealed lead acid batteries and lithium batteries. I hope that's been helpful. You can see why lithium batteries are becoming so popular nowadays. I mean, their footprint, their weight, their longevity, uh, you just, you can't beat it anymore. You can reach out to us at any point if you have questions and I'll put some links in the description below.